Hello my lovelies and welcome back to All About Jamie. I've been going through my comments and I see that a lot of you would like to see my perfume collection. So your wish is my command. Today, it's all about scents. So guys, would you like to know when was the first perfume invented? It was actually invented in the year 1370 and was commissioned by Queen Elizabeth of Hungary. So the first scented oil that is blended with alcohol was made and it is then known as the Hungary water. And modern people nowadays wear perfume because it makes us more attractive and we do like to smell better for others. Now, let me show you my perfume collection. So these are some of the perfumes that I have in my collection. You know how I love collecting stuff. So usually I stick to a couple of fragrances that I really love and most of these Perfumes are either like gifts from friends or gifts from brands and a lot of them are really really nice I'm just particular about certain scents on myself and uh, different scents actually react differently from person to person because of uh, how your body reacts to it or even your hormones and everything so it is really important to try on the perfume and leave it for at least two hours before you know if the fragrance is going to be good on you so scents take us back to memories of a particular time of our life and for me Coco by Chanel is very significant as I was using this fragrance a lot when I was a young girl of maybe about like 17 years old and I used this for many years and after that I switched to other perfumes my favorite scents are usually floral and not fruity I love the scents of roses, lilies, irises all sorts of flowers and uh, I particularly do not like to have the mask scent in my fragrance. So right here I have a whole miniature collection of the Chanel fragrances. I really love Chanel fragrances and I've used many of them throughout my, my lifetime. I've used number 21 before, I've used number 19 before, I've even used one that was the scent of camellias. I can't remember which one is it. Let me see if it's here. Um, no, it's not here, but I remember they had one that was like a particular scent of the camellia flower, which is like the flower of the house of Chanel. Right here, we have got uh, Belle Respiro, La Posa, and these are all the new fragrances that I actually have not tried. So it's really nice to have them in miniatures. Like if I ever was in the mood for it, I would try it. But yeah, I haven't played with them yet. They've got number 22 here. Oh, okay. So it was number 22 that I have tried before, not number 21. Gosh, I'm really bad with numbers. They're all here. It's really cute. I just love collecting perfume miniatures when I was much younger. I used to decorate my vanity table with all these really cute perfume miniatures from the various brands. Another of the fragrance that I really like is this rose one from Versace. I just love the smell of roses and you guys know how much I love my roses. Be careful when you are buying rose fragrances because there are so many different notes of rose fragrances that I have spent a lifetime trying rose fragrances from many different brands and um, most of them didn't smell too good on which is why 
Till today, I have not found the perfect rose fragrance for myself. There are a few fragrances that I actually stick to for my daily use, be it like daytime or nighttime. I like to use Audi Parfum instead of Audi Toilet. So guys, you must be wondering what is the difference. So Audi Toilet has got a higher alcohol content and therefore it's a lighter fragrance so it doesn't smell as strong or last as long and there is Audi Parfum which has a less alcohol content and that is my preferred choice because the fragrance lasts a lot longer and is not overpowering on your body and there is Parfum which is a concentrated perfume and that it's really like concentrated, strong and it's just maybe a little bit overpowering for some like for me, I would use Parfum very very sparingly if you choose to use Parfum just dab on a little bit and not like you know spray it everywhere or even dab it everywhere because then you are going to smell like a walking fragrance stick <laughs> so let's look at the, what we have here this is Gucci Bloom and it has my name on it, Jamie. Let's see how it smells like. Oh, it's really nice. Very, very floral. Hey, why was I not using this perfume? I really like it. Let's Google and see what flowers are in Gucci Bloom. Much, much later. Now I know why I love it. Because it is a garden of flowers. This perfume is created to unfold like its name. Notes of natural tuberose. Jasmine. It is a very rich white floral scent. Now I know why I love it even more. Because I love the scents of all white flowers. I think I'm going to start using the Gucci Bloom from now on. It is really, really so nice. Another fragrance that I love so much, okay, it is by Anik Guttal. It's called Delice. And the house of Anik Guttal actually discontinued this fragrance. I was using this for so many years. It is the fragrance of White Lilies. That's why it's called Delis, it's called the Lily. I heard that they were going to discontinue this fragrance. I actually went everywhere, even throughout Europe and bought up everything. So I've still got like quite a number of bottles of the Delis left. I don't know if it's even usable, but that is how kiasu I am. So I bought up like, I think I found 30 bottles of this. Yeah, let's spray and reminiscence of the days I used to use this fragrance. It's such a beautiful fragrance. I love this. And this one is another fragrance from Anik Guta. I love Anik Guta fragrances. As you can see, I've got a number of Anik Guta fragrances. This one is called the La Violette. It is violets. The smell of violets, very springy, very fresh. I think I have another violet scent. No, this is Iris. It's by Boucheron. This is the Iris. And because it has a lot of woody notes in it, so I'm not a big fan of woody notes and mask notes. I don't use uh, this fragrance on my body, but I do love to spray it around my wardrobe to make it smell nice. Some of the fragrance I like to spray in my closet, like different ones for different parts of my closet, like in my lingerie. I like to use a particular scent, a very feminine floral scent to perfume. And for my evening gowns, I use yet another kind of fragrance, maybe something more glamorous like um, the Cafe Rose. It is a very um, warm, glamorous, bit woody, very small hints of mask in it and for sweet pretty fragrances like 
Miss Dior. I like to spray in my pretty dresses section. I love the design of this bottle. It has this pretty bowl here, which is so cute. This is another rose scent from Annick Guttal. It is the Rose Some Splendor. It doesn't really smell great on me. I mean, it smells great when I do this. But when I have it on my body, it just kind of smells too sweet for my preference. I, I don't like um, something that smells very, very sweet on me. Just playing around with the Chanel Number no. 5 L'Oreal. And um, I bought this because I thought it would be fairly quite similar to the classic number no. 5. But um, I still prefer the classic number no. 5, which is my all time favorite fragrance. I use that like every day, except that, you know, during the circuit breaker, of course, I was not wearing perfume at home, so they got quite lonely, I think. Aww. And this is the Chanel number no. 5 in a special colored bottle. I think it was a limited edition. You can see that it's my favorite fragrance because there's like very little of it left, and I've got like bottles and bottles of Chanel number no. 5. I must have used like a hundred bottles of Chanel number no. 5. So this one is a very unique fragrance. It's not from like a brand that you see in departmental stores usually. It is by Broom Du Matin and it's an Audi Parfum. I really like this but I remember when I bought it, I find it really expensive. I can't remember how much it was but it was quite expensive. I did a two hour test when I bought this because it was so pricey, I had to walk around like for a couple of hours before I decided if I wanted to spend my money on it. Right, let's talk about fragrance layering. So guys, if you want your fragrance to really last on your body like throughout the day, what I do is to layer my fragrance. What is the layering of fragrance? Layering of fragrance meaning from your shower gel to your body cream and even what you spray on your hair and body powder use the same scent. So Chanel number no. 5 is my all-time favorite fragrance and uh, they used to have the body powder until it got discontinued like sometime last year and I was mortified. I was frantically going everywhere, trying to buy up everything as usual, just like what I did with the Anik Gutal Delice. I did that with the Chanel Number no. 5 body powder. I was so frantic. That was, wow. I was living in fear. And I actually managed to buy up 10 boxes of the body powder. Oh, so nice. It's like heaven. But let me tell you, this is my last box. Oh no! So I'm using it very, very sparingly. And I will hate it that if I am going somewhere important and I really need to smell my best, it is just in my mind, I know, but I want to have this powder on my body. So this is the shower cream that I use to the first layer of my fragrance layering. I would take a bath with the shower cream followed by the body cream after my bath. Ah, I love this body cream. It is so silky. Just put a bit on myself. I think I have bought like 50 tubs of this body cream in my lifetime. <sighs> And there is also the hair mist right here. And uh, after my body cream, I like to spray the hair mist on my hair. It just smells so good. Okay. So this is the all over body spray. 
have it in your handbag to just freshen up if you are not going home to take a shower before an evening out you can refresh your fragrance with the all over body spray and now let's talk about where to spray your perfume to ensure that your perfume lasts much longer we spray it on our pulse points because it is the warmest part of our body like here and on your wrist and after you spray it, don't rub as it will interfere with the fragrance so what you do is just spray it here at the nape of your neck pulse points and if you want to be a little bit more generous with your fragrance you can spray right here and here but I think I'll stop right now because I don't want to smell too overpowering I am now going to give you the list of the flowers that is in Chanel number no. 5 there are so many I really need to read so what is in this bottle that makes me so crazy about it it is a highly complex blend of elder heights and florals so of course there is rose in there ylang ylang jasmine lily of the valley and iris so for the wood notes it has a very warm woody scent of vetiver, sandalwood, vanilla, amber, and patchouli. So there, a very very complex scent and it actually changes after it touches your body. So it smells really good on me compared to other fragrances. That's why I'm using it all the time. We've come to the end of my little fragrance video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave your comments about which other videos you'd like to see next and do show me some love by clicking the like button. I will see you guys next week. Ciao! In 1370, Queen Elizabeth... Oh, um, okay, why do people wear perfumes less in Google? Huh? La Violette. It's the smell of violets. Oops. Let's get it. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Let's do it again.